Hey, so what's going on guys? Been here with Driven Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So in this video, we'll be working on the Sirocco. There's a couple of things which needs to be fixed, which is actually the horn. Currently, it's only running on one side. And also my fog lamps, because I do want to upgrade them to LEDs. Currently, they are using the regular halogens and I would say it's pretty dim. So I actually got some brand new LED bulbs. So it will improve the visibility when driving at night or for toge sessions. I also got these connectors from Lazada, they're a couple of bucks. Uh, this actually converts the socket into regular plus and minus connectors, which means that I can actually use my, my pair of horns, which I actually have in the storeroom for some reason for my previous car. Hope these are working. Uh, so let's get right to it. Okay, so in order to get into the horn, we do have to open the headlamps again. Both headlamps because the horns are actually somewhere right down there. Kind of inconvenience, but it's better than opening the bumper. So right here, you can see connectors are actually, I mean the horn is actually right down there. So I actually have to open the headlamps so you can gain access to the connectors and also the horn itself because they do have to be removed with, I believe, a size 10 or maybe a Torx. I'm not too sure on that, but we will check it out. Okay, so in order to remove uh, the headlamps, so both are identical. Left and right, they're both identical. So you do have to remove one, two, three, four, five. So five screws for the bracket. And then we do have two more screws for the headlamp itself. We have one down here and one more here. So yeah, total of seven screws. And then of course you unplug the socket and then the headlamp comes off. So both sides are identical. So if you can do one side, you can do the other. So of course I'll be doing one side at a time. So I believe the passenger side, which is the left side, is actually the easier one. Because my car is right-hand drive. So yeah, it doesn't have the hood release uh, cable and all those stuff which is on the driver's side of this car. Alright guys, so now we have gotten the headlamp removed. I actually did remove the socket for the original horn. So let me give you a look. So it's right down here. So it's identical on the other side. Of course it's flipped, it's mirrored. But uh, basically there's a connector which actually plugs into this horn. And I've actually gotten the adapter so that I can plug in my regular horn. It's so much easier because you can just buy any aftermarket horn and replace it instead of getting one with the connector on the horn itself. So it actually saves like a couple of bucks or more, it depends on what kind of horn you buy. All right guys, so we have gotten the other side done. So this is how the connector works. So it actually is like an adapter, I would say. So it plugs into the socket and then you can use your regular horn connector right here. So pretty cool product for only like five ringgits. So I would say it's a, something you should get if you're interested in like changing your horn to any aftermarket horn. So you got more choices. Uh, through this method. So let's get everything fixed and then we will continue to replacing the fog lamp bulbs. Okay, so now we're going to work on the fog lamps. We're going to take the LED bulbs from Max GTRS right here. Uh, these I believe are H4 if I'm not mistaken. So the process to install this is actually easy. You just need to take this front piece off and then uh, three screws and then your fog lamp will come off. Okay so to unscrew this fog lamp you need a T25 bit. So let me just show you. T25 and then there are three screws, one, two, and three. And then you can remove the fork lamp. Okay, so after unscrewing the four screws, you just need to twist this bulb in anti-clockwise. Once you twist it, you can just take out. Once you're done taking it out, you can just unclip the connector and then pop in the new bulb. I'll show you guys the bulbs. So the right one is the LED and the left one is the halogen. You see the connector right here. So all snaps in place. Plug and play. You can see this is the halogen one and this is the yellow fog lamp LED. So pretty big difference in terms of brightness. Alright, so let's uh, get the other side fixed up and put everything together and I'll show you guys a comparison. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the difference halogen versus LED. Okay, so this is halogen. Just reduce the exposure. See? versus the LED which is just a done brighter. Alright guys you can see my lights now it's dark. So this is my LED fog lamps in yellow. 
can see really nice I've uh, done the adjustment so it's not shining up to people's eyes or the oncoming cars so yeah so I hope this video is informative to you guys so if you did like it do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one and I'll see you guys in the next video